Hey guys, it's Bieber. So today, this precious baby, Malia Bass, she was laid to rest. It was a beautiful service. Um, her biological father uh, had it done in Dallas. Um, it was really nice. It was um, appropriate. The pastor was great. And, you know, just like he said, she's not worried about that. You say, come back. She's like, no, I'm doing this. You know, the pain is for the living. Justice is for the living. And we do it in the honor of Malia. So I'm going to show a few little pictures. Uh, this one's going to be toned down. You know, um, we just got to find out what happened. And, you know, if maybe, just maybe, it can be prevented and save another little baby from having to go through what she went through. That's what matters, you know, so it's not in vain. And um, at the end of the video, it's going to be a news clipping. Um, it's Octavius Bass and it's Tim Miller from Equisearch. This report came out yesterday. So anyways, guys, um, that's it. I'm going to that's going to be at the end of the video. I'm just going to start some pictures. And we just want to remember this sweet baby. And we say prayers for the family in this time of loss and grieving. And that, you know, just a spirit of peace and comfort is laid upon them. And we just seek justice for this precious baby. in a bayou nearly 20 miles from her home more than a week ago. Tonight, Malia's father is telling us he wants justice for his daughter. Here's Grace White. Reminders of a little girl outside the Southwest Houston apartment she called home. I really never got to be like a dad until my life was be a really father, father figure to her. The father of two-year-old Malia Bass wants to know how she ended up dead in Bray's Bayou. I want the person who did it to come forward. Octavius Bass lives in Dallas, where he brought his daughter's remains. I want to bring her down here and try to have something, a, a nice funeral for her. Back home in Houston, Malia's mother's boyfriend has been critical of the investigation. Y'all supposed to have four, five dogs looking for my baby. He and the mother say Malia was at their apartment complex's playground when the mother stepped inside for a few minutes. That's when they claim Malia disappeared. I believe that they're probably close uh, to knowing what happened. Tim Miller with Texas EquiSearch says his volunteers were looking up and down the bayou for two pieces of key evidence, her toy bag and her clothes. They didn't find them, but they did spot a surveillance camera that showed investigators how high the water got from recent rain. And Miller says there's something else they're keeping an eye on. There's an area that's being protected right now as we speak in case we need to go to that area and, and look for some, some other evidence. While this father waits for answers, he says he just wants one thing for his daughter. I just want justice 
Nah, I just want to. I just want to put her to rest and justice for her. Malia's funeral is planned for Friday at noon in Dallas. The medical examiner has still not ruled on her cause of death, but Houston police tell us they're approaching the case as a murder.